What's up guys, Mark Burstiner here with Android Police and we're talking Android Auto. We're not talking about Maseratis this time. There's a separate video for this brand new in-car concept that Google's working on. You can go check out right here on the channel as well. But for this one, we're just gonna talk about what's new in Android Auto here at Google I.O. 2016. First and foremost, you're gonna recognize a friendly face. Waze is now available on the Android Auto platform. It was asked for and Google delivered. Google is working very closely with manufacturers like Honda and Hyundai for these OEM apps. And what they're really doing is just working as closely as they can with these OEMs to make sure that the OEM's data can make it into Android Auto. Their data is not gonna be handled the same way, but it does offer the user a ton of great new functionality that they did not have before. Notifications and functionality associated with the vehicle itself will be exposed to the user through this new area. The car can let you know about your tire pressure, your check engine light, see what's actually wrong with your engine for that matter. All the things that you would expect your car to be able to message to you can now happen through Android Auto. If you don't have an Android Auto ready car, that's not that big of a deal anymore either because now you can actually run Android Auto on your phone as a standalone device. It's not too terribly fancy. It's effectively just a driving mode, really. Big old icons, lots of things that are nice and easy to see, nothing too, too small, and not a whole lot of functionality. Most of it is really just what you get in Android Auto, but on your phone. Finally, we did hear some murmurs. We did not get a chance to see it in action, but it looks like Android Auto is very soon going to be getting the ability to connect to your car over Wi-Fi, not through a wired connection. That's a big deal for those of you who have a problem with plugging things in, though it's not a big deal for me because I feel like if I'm in the car, I'm going to be charging my phone anyway. Let me know what you guys think about all these new additions to Android Auto. Do you have a car with Android Auto in it? Are you going to be getting these updates? If so, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what else Android Auto is missing down in the comments as well. Maybe Google's reading. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Be kind to of one another, and I'll catch you in the next video.